Um, could you please tell what kind of dressing really appeals to older women? How do you prefer men to be dressed personally casual or smart casual? Good question. Okay. Um, there's nothing like a guy in a suit, but if you're at a bar that's like, you know, or someplace where you, you're not going to be walking around in a suit, you, I, I would think dress how you normally dress. Don't overdress. If you normally dress like really preppy, then dress really preppy. Um, what I, I would say you're better off going up than down as far as like the look, but even a casual look, like, look at, I'm walking around in like, you know, yoga stuff right now can be attractive if you're in the right environment. So it really depends on where you are, Gavin, as to how you should dress. Uh, I think if you're younger and you're trying to get an older woman, the better dressed you are in terms of like the classier, more sophisticated look, the better because you, you know, if you got your baseball cap turned around and you got the saggy pants and all that kind of look, um, it's not going to feel very comfortable. It's going to be like a very, I'm going to be, I would be shy about it. I mean, not shy about it, but I'd be very like, get the fuck away. You're too young. You know, dress like a man, not a boy. Uh, let's see. Um, did you please? Uh, May, don't talk about me, HL. Concentrate on the topic, thanks. Oh, thank you, May. Uh, happened to me that, that with a lady that works with me. What happened, Miguel? Um, what do you do if you're shy, Leslie? Yeah, what do you do if you're shy? You need to work on fi figuring out why you're shy, first of all. what What is it that shy usually means insecure inside, not confident, um, or it means that you're intimidated by somebody. Uh, don't be intimidated by older women. They're very, um, older women know, are, are kind of like at the point where they'd rather have someone be honest and be available and be fun and flirty than they would, uh, you know, I would say that you might be more, apt to get a conversation going with an older woman than a younger girl because older women don't play games so it's it's it would be something to just get over you know just work on if you really want to learn how to do this um i also have a video and sign up my for my newsletter on karenleepoter.com and you can uh, get a free download on how to introduce yourself to an attractive person so it, it a, a lot of the way i would teach it is to say just walk up and start introducing yourself to anybody. Talk to talk to people on the street. Talk to people, you know, in a grocery store or whatever. Just introduce yourself and just start a conversation. The more friendly you are to people, the more you're going to be comfortable meeting another uh, woman that you want to get to know. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. So, do you like metrosexual men? Um, Mr. Pyrobrain is asking me. Do I like metrosexual? I kind of think I do. I like guys that are confident to wear whatever they want. If they want to wear a pink shirt, wear a pink shirt. If they, you know, I don't like it if if, if they're looking too feminine because that's just me. I like more of a manly look, but um, I'm not really that concerned about the whole, if it's considered metro or not. It's just how you look and your own style. I mean, that's you. You don't want to change your style for anybody. You want to be yourself. Married men and taken women are always the sexiest. Who's with me? LOL. Just kidding, Brady. Um, and why are they the sexiest? Because maybe you're scared to get intimate with them. You know, there's a lot of reasons that you might think they're the sexiest. Um, if they're, if, if, you know what I'm saying about married w women? I mean, they may seem like they're more desirable because they're not trying, they're, you know, they're there just having fun and they're not looking as, maybe desperate as women that are single and trying to look for a guy so i don't know there's a re there might be reasons for that um did did i tell you guys about when i went to the indie state fair i'm not sure about that her locker dress uh, wild weasel dress poor that way you can get a gold digger really oh you can get wait that way you get a gold digger if you dress poor you no not really not not really um Gavin, Dunkey, Shane, Karen, you prefer men in brogues, wingtips, berries. Oh, you're asking about what shoes I prefer? Juka boots. No, I'm more smart casual. I'm 37 years old and okay. Th oh, thanks, Karen. Okay. So, Gavin, yeah, I, I don't, don't be concerned about your shoes except make sure that they're in good shape and clean and they're not ratty old gym shoes and something that, you know, a kid would wear. Uh, I, I think, you know, Again, anything that you wear that's your particular style, you're going to wear it well. That's just my guess.
uh, let's see, CK, it's usually one line conversation between two people connecting between anywhere you go. Good call. Um, another catfish story that happened yesterday on Tinder. Okay, her lacquer. Let's hold on to that thought, and we're going to keep moving on to this. This where we're on. Uh, okay, wild weasel. I knew someone who fucked some guy's girlfriend and the boyfriend went after him and hit him on the head with a cleaver. Good thing it only grazed him. See, that, that's true. Wild Weasel has a point. Now, about the married women, you know, again, you don't know what the... It, it, I like to stay away from any kind of dangerous situation. It's not worth it. There's millions of people in the world. Why do you have to pick someone who's already got a relationship going? And by the way, if you pick someone who's married who wants to flirt with you and then does want to have sex with you... What makes you think if you're with her, she's going to be loyal to you if that's what you're looking for? So just be careful. Um, oops, I meant dress poor so you won't get a gold digger. Uh, that's what you think, Wild Weasel? I don't know if that's true either, you know? Um, just if you, I think you can spot a gold digger a mile away. Just, you know, it, it depends on who you're going after. And if you talk to them for a few minutes and you can see that all they're interested in is finding out about your career, how much money you make, they want to see your 401k, they want to, you know what I'm saying, they ask you how much money you have or where you live or what kind of car you drive, stay away from those people because they are going to be more interested in that than who you are. You know, that's why that interesting, the conversation about their passions and things is a good way to start. Do you have some two points, Karen? Be Okay, you have some two points because I seem to attract the desperate type of girls and I need to change that. Yeah, Brady, if you're attracting a certain type of person, switch it. Switch it so that you are going after somebody else that's not married, not needy, not, uh, you know, desperate. You know, try to find someone outside of your typical type. Mothers are more dependable women than single women. Tate, Ray, why is that? Um, that's a good point, though. I mean, maybe they are not interested in, you know, just dating around. Uh, they, they have to be serious at some point because they've got kids to take care of. They can't be as as wild and crazy as the young women are that don't have those responsibilities. Uh, the pink shirt means it represents breast cancer other way around. Do you wear it? Oh, this thing? This is just happens to be a, uh, a, a sports bra. <laughs> Married women should be off limits. You don't want that bad karma. Thank you, Mr. Pirate Brain. Agreed. Uh -huh. Let's see. Hi there to Billy and conser conservative patriot. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry that we're ignoring a lot of these things. Slacks and a polo or jeans and a t-shirt. Um, slacks and a polo, DJ. Although, you know, if you have a nice pair of good-looking jeans, I'm fine with that, too. Uh, you really want that uh, big penis and girth question right now. Can't we wait a little bit there, Hammer? May say, Miss, uh, okay, Mr. Pirate Brain, true that. Otherwise, her husband could be carrying a shotgun. 12G, yeah, exactly. We don't know. You don't know about the other person's past, who they're with. You know, it's very scary out there because you could be meeting with someone who you think is completely like the hottest, crazy, the most wonderful person in the world and you find out she's a little bit crazy or that she's got a boyfriend or husband that's a little bit crazy. So just be very, very careful as to, you know, who you're going after and how fast you're, you're going for the next step. You know, just take, it, take your time and be careful. This is the mother in me saying this to you guys. You're all like family to me now. Uh, let's see. May, those girls are straight away ask you to buy them drinks or anything else. Usually means she's gone out deliberately without money. Yeah, people that ask you to buy them drinks, uh, again, they're looking for a free drink or a free meal or whatever. I've been with people that do that kind of stuff. It's embarrassing to me, um, but there are definitely women out there that just do not like to pay for their own meals or drinks, and they will use you. So just be careful of those women. I'm not like one of those anti-women, uh, you know, the, the MGTOW people that think all women are like this. I'm just saying there are women that are like that. There are guys that are not good people too. So, you know, just when you're meeting people, just try to see beyond what they're saying to you. Watch body language and things like that. Plantiful, can you? Uh, Hurt Locker, are you scrambling to get out of the house while holding your claws while dodging the dude's bullets? Yeah, right. John, Bryson, this is important because I'm a bit shy too. Check out Elliot Hughes' video called The Truth About Deep Breathing. Interesting. Um, 
so John, you're a little shy too. Okay. How I date women who love bratty guys who are kind of crazy. Um, you know, it depends on where you are in your life and what you're looking for. You have to really think about that. Are you looking for a relationship? Are you looking for a bratty kind of crazy girl? If you are looking for a bratty kind of crazy girl, then don't be surprised if she does bratty things to you that you don't like. So, you know, if someone shows you their true colors, as Maya Angelou says, believe them. Some, if people show you that they are looking for money or they're looking for this or that and they're not being kind to you, move on. Find people that are nice. Um, and a lot of times that they're not the real the out there ones, the real flashy girls. A lot of them are just like the ones with the flashy girls. Uh, oh, so Bryson, when I'm open, I have an outgoing personality. That's that. Yeah, sometimes it takes just takes a while to get to know that person. Is a good is a grocery store a good place to go after cougars? Probably the ones that like to cook. Uh, let's see, Tay Ray, would you, would online dating sites be a good place to go after cougars? Yes. And if you go to my website, KarenLeePoter.com, there's Cougar Life there. That's the one I recommend. And I'm an affiliate with them. So try that one. Or any of the other ones I think wouldn't be a bad idea because it, it gets all the guesswork out of it. You know what I mean? Uh... So, buddy, you've never been on a date before, but love to have a wonderful day with someone like you. Well, just go go out and make it happen. You all are capable individuals. You're all strong, capable men and women, especially men, because it seems to be a lot of men on here, uh, who can do whatever you want. You can reinvent yourself tomorrow. You can reinvent yourself today. So, um, again, if you keep life-affirming statements in your heart like, you know, you can see where I'm very spiritual because I'm wearing this, you know, hamsa hand. Um, I really believe that if you convince yourself that you are a worthy, wonderful person, that any woman is blessed to be, to have you in their life, then you will find that person. But meanwhile, just go up and say hi and have fun. And that person will happen, you know, the more desperate you are and the more desperate you look, the worse it is. You know, it just, it's like, it, it's like a no win situation then. You're just going to, you know, it, it just go, it, it kind of like spirals into like, wow, what am I, look at me. I'm acting like a, like a little lovesick puppy. You don't want to be the lovesick puppy. You want to be that aggressive dog. Um, how can I tell my Tinder catfish story? Oh, you want to do that? Uh, all right, are cougars into touching as, uh, as flirting? Yes, cougars are into touching as flirting. Absolutely, those are good body language cues. The main reason I'm shy and guarded is my trust issues. Bryson, then then don't open up all that much. Just open the door a little bit. Just t uh, throw out a little feeler. Throw out a little a little fish. So speaking of fish, uh, Hurt Locker, what? Um, discuss the ways. To, all right, hey Karen, before we discuss the ways to pick her up, what are the types of girls you avoid? Oh, so I kind of didn't even read that question, but those are the kind of girls I would avoid if I was you. Um, I think that it's it's pretty obvious uh, when you walk up to someone, their initial reaction, because I've been with these kind of girls, they will literally like pick up their phone if somebody walks up to the table that they're not interested in. Those are the girls you want to avoid. They're assholes. I mean, they can be assholes to guys. They're not to me because they're my friends. But I've seen the way they treat guys. And it's a lot of it, it's their own issues. So you can't take anything personally. That's the first thing I would say. Um, so if you want to avoid getting hurt, don't take anything personally. Uh, uh, let's see. John, Bryson, you get nervous talking. Uh, let's see. I fetishize cougars' maternal instinct. I love acting adorable around them. How blur are you? So, yeah, they might, you know, cougars can take a maternal instinct towards you because they're older. They don't want another child, though. Okay, here's what you got to avoid. It's in, again, it's it's a fine balance with older women. I had three kids. I would never want a fourth kid, okay? I need a partner. I need a lover. And they could be younger, but they I don't want someone who is going to be, like, acting like a, a fool because that's embarrassing and it's childish and it's, it's like, why do I need that? I got a kid that acts like that. So... Very important that you act mature, even if you, you know, act like a child when you're around, maybe your friends. Um, Mr. Pyrobrain, let's, what do we got here? I went to MGTOW YouTube channel and they are pathetic. I posed the question, what do you do for pussy? And the monitor got mad and blocked me. They are just bashing women and love Trump. Okay, well, that answers that question on MGTOW. If anybody had any doubts about it, um, that answers that question. 
And let's see. It's kind of pathetic, but thank you for trying that one. John saying, honestly, I'm going through a rough time in life, so I want to have a sugar mama to go over it and dick her down every once in a while. Whoa, John, come on. Nobody wants to be thought of as just like someone who can take care of you financially and you can give her your dick. I mean, I wouldn't want that in a million years. That sounds disgusting. It sounds like she like needs to pay for sex, which any attractive, you know, together cougar is not going to want to pay for sex. Okay, that might work the reciprocal with a older guy with a younger girl. Some younger girls want a sugar daddy to take care of them and they just give them pussy. But it doesn't work that way, at least not in my field. <laughs> not in my line of field of vision there, I hate to say it, John. And you can watch any video you want by any guy you want, John, but that's why you're here. I'm a woman. I'm going to tell you the woman's perspective. You can get any guy to put out a video on the pickup artist and how they do it and how they nag and how this works for them. But you know what? Nine times out of ten, those pickup artists are not in relationships and they don't get the women they th that they act like they do. They can put out a video where it looks like they do. But nine times out of ten, those are probably fake. So I'm just, I'm not saying I'm better than any of these guys. I'm just saying that I'm giving you a different perspective. Just be careful about uh, these guys who say, oh, yeah, you can, you know, manipulate women to get what you want because those are not the kind of person. I, I don't think anybody wants to be that guy either. Am I married? Nope, not married. I am in a relationship with someone. I'm never getting married because I like my identity. I don't, I don't want to be someone's wife. I already was that. Hi, Ellen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark, but again, it depends on what stage of life you are in. You know, like when I was younger, I wanted to get married, so... It really depends. Div Divagir, I'm old enough to tell you that it's not a very nice question to ask how old you are. Why do you, why do people have to ask that? Okay, so her locker, I set up my Tinder, I put my name, and here this chick pops up, Tiffany, and she just straight up said she's just out of, out of relationship and she likes to be dominated and stuff. Oh, okay, I'll keep going. Uh, Tashin, you're seeing an older woman. I'm not surprised. Tashin's a personal trainer, uh, but it's still early. Uh, the way you made it, that's... That way you made that sound is hilarious. Which sound, Jen? Uh, I forgot. I make a lot of weird sounds. Uh, Hurt Locker, while I'm doing this, I'm texting my friend about this. And as soon as she stopped replying, I blocked her and deleted her number. I was it, I was later told that it might have been a bot. Oh, interesting. I wonder what that means. Um, okay. The word is gigolo. Or rent boy, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Gavin is saying that. Do you really want to be a gigolo? And um, what kind of women are needing to be? Uh, May, you're not interested in marriage either. Well, I wonder why. For the same reasons, May. Uh, hurt lock or not, I'm not into manipulating someone that has interest in me. I'll get bad juju. Exactly. So try not to manipulate. Try to be yourself. Try to have good, open, honest relationships with people. Flirt with them, have fun with them, be open from the start. If you're not, say, I think the most important thing that a lot of people don't get is they're afraid of hurting or losing their chance of being with some girl if they tell them where they're at. And if you're at a point in your in your own life and you're like focusing on your career and you're not focusing on trying to get um, into a, a relationship or a marriage or any kind of financial issues with another woman, tell them from the start, I'm not interested in having it any more than playing with you right now this is all I can focus on it's not you it's just where I'm at in my life it may sound harsh and it may sound like this woman's gonna 